Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today, we are going to be examining combat in the One Piece world. As a shonen manga, fighting is a key aspect of the series, and while characters like Luffy seem to be very adept at essentially improvising their way through battle, there are actually many forms of structured combat within this world. So we're going to do what we always do with everything in the One Piece universe and rank them. The criteria for this list is as follows. A martial art must be a formal practice used by more than one character. So for example, Luffy's particular fighting style does not count here, nor does Zoro Santoryu, even though a lot of students at his dojo seem to be attempting it. And that's pretty much it, so with that out of the way, let's begin. Welcome to the Top 5 Martial Arts in One Piece. Number 5. Hashoken. A common response to hearing this term would be Hashowa, but Hashoken is actually a very special martial art practiced by the Chinjao family. Consisting of Don Chinjao, Sai, Bu, and you know I guess Baby Five is now technically a member by marriage, but she does not practice Hashoken as of yet. The primary aim of Hashoken is for the user to control vibrations around their limbs and use them to generate shockwaves, in a very similar manner to which the Gura Gura no Mi acts, except that Hashoken produces more concentric waves, while the Gura Gura no Mi just causes general seismic chaos. Furthermore, the Hashoken waves are focused and primarily applied to enhance a regular strike, such as size kicks. But this martial art can be applied to any limb, including elbows and, uh, heads. Which I guess you may have noticed isn't a limb. Hmm. I mean, I guess Hashoken can really be applied to any part of the body you wish to attack with, which means that yes, a Hashoken penis is entirely possible. The main advantage of these attacks, according to Sai, is that they are unblockable and shatter most defensive items and techniques quite easily. In fact, the only real way to counter Hashoken appears to be by going going on the offensive and unleashing a similar or even more powerful force onto the Hashoken user, such as the Deo's exploding punches. But all in all, Hashoken is pretty damn cool and well deserving of the opening spot. Number 4. Black Leg Style Best described as a fusion of capoeira, taekwondo, savat, and general amazingness, Black Leg Style was founded by former pirate Zeph, who was said to have been able to break boulders and even dent steel with his techniques. This art was then taught to the second and only other master of Black Leg Style in the world, Zeph's student Sanji. As the name implies, the main force behind Black Leg Style are kicks, but you would be greatly mistaken in believing that this means this art ignores the rest of the body. On the contrary, this martial art puts great emphasis on repurposing body parts such as arms and hands in order to enhance the power, range, and diversity of the kicks themselves. But the really cool factor behind Black Leg Style is why it was created, which was as a means of preserving one's hands, because the only two users in the world are chefs. As chefs, both Zef and Sanji take far greater pride in cooking than they do in combat, and so this phenomenal yet efficient style has been developed. It all goes back to one of my favorite sayings, really. Restrictions breed creativity. And with Black Leg Style, we have some pretty huge restrictions, resulting in some pretty fine creativity. Number 3. The Rokushiki Stepping into the fray at number 3, we have the Rokushiki, which translates literally into the six powers. So as you may have gathered, this art is the mastery of six different techniques, which through combined use, allegedly gives somebody the strength of 100 men. This art is prominently practiced by members of the Cypherpol organization, who are kind of like the MI6 of the world government. In fact, all primary members of CP9 minus Spandam, of course, have achieved mastery of each of the six techniques, becoming devastating opponents for the Straw Hats to face during the Eni Slobby arc. With that said, the Rokushiki are not exclusive to Cypherpol and appear to be widely practiced amongst the Marines and even some sectors of pirates. With the most commonly shown moves being Soru and Geppo, both techniques that allow for heavily increased mobility, which can be applied to most other individual combat styles. The Rokushiki also possesses fearsome attack techniques though, including Shigan and Rankyaku. Furthermore, there is one defensive technique known as Tekai, as well as an evasive move called Kami-e. The idea is that with these six powers combined, you become a superhuman in every way capable of powerful attack, super speed, and impenetrable defense, and should the occasion call for it, incredible evasiveness. And it would probably be fine to stop right there, but the masters of Rokushiki can take this art even further and access a secret seventh skill known as the Rokogan, which acts as an ultimate attack of the Rokushiki practice. Really, the only thing that Rokushiki has going against it is style points. Rokushiki moves tend to be very understated while providing maximum effect. So sadly, they just don't look quite as cool as the rest of the martial arts on this list. Number 2. Okama Kenpo 
In a very similar vein to Black Legs style, Okama Kempo primarily focuses on legs. However, this particular form takes its roots from the art of ballet. In fact, according to the only known user of Okama Kenpo, Bong Clay, in order to learn this particular martial art, there are three steps. Firstly, one must learn ballet. Secondly, one must learn karate. Finally, one must work at one of those places. Take note that the word those was said with quotation marks. Hmm, how very vague. But yeah, you can essentially boil Okama Kempo down to a fantastic fusion between ballet and karate. So with that in mind, a user of this art form is capable of producing overwhelming force in a strictly controlled and precise manner. However, achieving the level of mastery required to make use of these techniques seems like a much more painful road than most martial arts and demands a body sculpted specifically for the art form. For example, when Bong Clay uses his devil fruit abilities to copy another person's body, he is entirely unable to perform Okama Kempo. Kenpo. However, in contrast with Black Leg style, Sanji was able to produce a lessened form of those techniques while he was still in Nami's body. Finally, I would be remiss not to mention that Okama Kenpo has a variation known as New Kama Kenpo, which was pioneered by Emporio Ivankov and practiced widely by the inhabitants of Kambaka Kingdom. This style generally retains the graceful qualities of Okama Kenpo, but involves a much larger selection of brute force attacks. Pretty damn cool, I'd say. There is certainly one martial art that trumps it. Number 1. Fishman Karate. This particular martial art is unlike any other on the list because it doesn't put any particular focus on the body of a practitioner. Instead, the true power of Fishman Karate is the mastery of water. Now that might not sound so impressive at first, but let's remember that the One Piece world overwhelmingly consists of water, and that, well, more than half of all humanoid bodies are composed of water. Yes, Fishman Karate can be used to manipulate the water within a person's body, allowing for much greater combat capability against opponents who are generally immune to blunt force. For example, Luffy, a rubber man, may as well be immune to non-haki imbued punches. However, he is very susceptible to being struck by Fishman Karate. And for a master such as Jinbei, this can result in some pretty crazy stuff. Like that time Jinbei practically one-shot Gekko Moria with Samagawara Seiken. But even at the lower levels of practice, this martial art can be deadly. Another commonly used technique is the Uchimizu, whereby a user of Fishman Karate can transform even a droplet of water into a deadly bullet via the use of kinetic force. Plus, unlike every other martial art on the list, Fishman Karate appears to have quite a solid structure involving belt progression and levels. For example, Kurobi claimed to be a level 40 practitioner of the art, while Jinbei was known to have achieved a black belt in Fishman Karate while he was still a child. And to top it all off, it just looks so damn cool, managing to achieve both depth in style as well as substance. So with all of that said, there is no doubt in my mind that Fishman Karate deserves to be crowned the number one martial art in the series. And that pretty much does it for the top five martial arts in One Piece. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you are in any way keen on supporting this independent channel, then please do check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, the links to which are in the handy description below. Finally, please do comment with your own favorite martial arts in the series. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.